Welcome to Chopstick Travel, I'm Luke Martin and today I'm taking you on the Whoa. ultimate barbecue tour of Jakarta. From giant beef ribs to fresh seafood and traditional satay, we're gonna try it all and more in today's episode. It's gonna be a great one, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some barbecue. For our first barbecue of the day, we are having beef ribs, and a good sign of any barbecue is billowing smoke coming from the restaurant, and this place certainly doesn't have any shortage of smoke. They have this massive grill of these huge ribs, and they're just completely painting it in sambal. So he's actually got a paintbrush and tongs, because the paintbrush is so covered in the sambal that he's using the tongs to hold the paintbrush and paint all of those ribs. Super, super smoky, and they've got a couple different flavors. We're gonna order up a bunch of different things to try, but just check out this grill. All charcoal, of course, the way it should be. Apparently now I'm just gonna spend the rest of my life here working at the barbecue restaurant, flipping ribs. No complaints. Look how good these ribs look. It's hot back here. So Ari and I are sitting down now. We've ordered all three different flavors that they sell. Is this like Indonesian style or is it like Western style? It's just like a Fusion? mixture shape. Yeah. This is original and then we've got black pepper. Look at how much black pepper is on top of it. This is a lemon and hot. Lemon just sambal. <laughs> yeah, sambal, lemon sambal. And then served with some chips some on the chips side. And just like, look at the size of one of these ribs. Oh, that is like a monster, monster beef rib. Super smoky, the restaurant's super smoky. What do you want to try first? Uh, the this one first. Pepper? Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I like that pepper. Super tender. Super smoky. Just falls off the bone. This is a mouthful of beef rib. Yeah. Okay, this one is lemon hot. Co completely coated, smothered in sauce. Look at the size of that rib. That's like as big as my head. That's crazy. And there's a lot of meat on them too. Let me try this. It's lemon hot. Yeah, it's hot. Mm. It's a bit hot. I'd say this is a little bit kind of westernized with the sauce, the flavoring. It's definitely not a, a pretty thing to eat. I probably got sauce all over my face. I know Ari does. Don't wear any white here. Usually in Mission South, we are more into ketchup manis glaze. Mm. And then we eat it with a lot of uh, sweet soy sauce, mm -hmm. and chili, and stuff. Oh my god. This is like a pizza. Okay, last but certainly not least, this is their original flavor. So this is probably just the sambal that they were painting it on painting from the grill on. there. Yeah. They, use, they use the actual paint brush. They do, yeah. <laughs> The texture of the meat. It's just so soft, melt in your mouth, and super smoky too. And we're going for a lot of barbecues today. This is just our first stop on our little barbecue tour here in Jakarta. I feel like this is the most satisfying barbecue I ever tasted in Indonesia because not only that extra salt with the beef brush they put on the barbecue but you eat this by hand. Mm, bigger than your head too. <laughs> Look at that sauciness. So much sauce. It's huge. What's your favorite flavor? I think I like the, the black pepper. What's your favorite flavor? Lemon hot. Lemon hot? Well, I'll go original then. That place is a meat lover's paradise. Seriously delicious beef ribs. Thank you, thank you. We're heading straight to our next location for Ikan Bakar, grilled seafood.
We have made it to the grilled fish restaurant just in time. It started pouring rain. I hope you can hear me okay. It's really loud. It's coming down like crazy in here. And they've got another charcoal grill here. This is a Sulawesi restaurant. So from the eastern part of Indonesia, an island called Sulawesi, they actually air fly all the seafood in here. So they've got buckets of fresh seafood that's just been flown in from Sulawesi. And they do it a little bit different style. Again, he's got a paintbrush and he's topping it with that sambal, painting it on. This sambal is a, a little bit different though. It's a green sambal. It's gonna be a lot spicier. I know it because this is a Sulawesi restaurant, a real local spot. And we ordered up one fish, a decent sized fish. I'm not totally sure what kind it is. I'll have to ask Ari, but just so smoky this grill. Once again, crazy grills here in Indonesia. Before we dig the fish, yeah. we should make um, concoction from the sambal. Okay, first. yeah, we've got these three different types of sambal. Yeah, this is we call it sambal petis, made from fermented shrimp paste. Okay, shrimp paste sambal. Yeah, and okay. then this is the richa uh, iris. That's the okay. uh, sambal. So I see some Slice. tomatoes in there yeah, as well. Tomatoes and, and some chili and oh. uh, lemon basil. We got racha manga, which is like uh, shredded mango, green mango. So based on your liking, surely we just mix everything. Okay. Yeah, so Can we, I steal some of Sure. I'm gonna steal some here instead. Yeah. We're going with our fingers? Sure. All right, let's Maybe go right we in. take the flesh with the, uh, with the richa sauce first. Okay. We dig it to sambal. Oh, it's hot. So, so it's just, just some of the natural. The, the original, the original flavor. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's try that. So is it? Yum. Wow. That fish is really good. The fish is really good. Grilled perfectly, right? yeah. It's not like overcooked, it's not dried out, it's still nice and juicy. Yep, that's spicy, but I think I got mostly just the, the tomato in that bite, which is kind of a, kind of a soothing, refreshing, less spicy. Oh yeah, look at that. There's some chili on there. Get those bones out of there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the spiciness getting thin, right? Mm -hmm. Now we can immediate. mix it with the sambal. Okay, yeah. yeah. Grab so many flavors here. You get the tartness and sourness from the mango. Yeah. Seri pungent dip from the patty sauce, the shrimp sure, paste. Shrimp sauce. paste, yeah. yeah. Okay, let me try this one now. Mm. Mm. Yes, yes. Really so good. This is the Southern Sulawesi style, ikan bakar. Southern Sulawesi. Mana, uh, Makassar or Ujung right. Pandan, the yeah. name of the restaurant. That's the crazy thing about yeah. Indonesia is there's so many islands, so many huge islands, such a massive country, long country, that uh, even you've probably never heard of Sulawesi food. Well, I'm just learning now there's a northern and a southern Sulawesi food. So, again, that's yeah. why I got Ari here. The, the <laughs> whole Sulawesi, they love fish. Right. And then they love fresh fish, they're fresh fish. So they are flown this all kind of fish right. from Eastern Indonesia to Jakarta. Wow, with this sambal mixture, it's so good. That, like, uh, that mango. Yeah. It's got a nice yeah, crunch to it, a little sour. Like the mango. We call it racha manga. Mm. Actually, that's less, a lot less spicy than just the sambal that's on top of there. Yes, because we get the sweetness from the mm. sweet paste. Yeah, that's really good fish. Amazing. This is such a staple in Sulawesi or Southern Sulawesi culture. Maybe the family there, you can eat three to four times a week for ikan bakar. Really? Some maybe daily. Wow. So this is the Sulawesi <laughs> staple, huh? Sulawesi staple. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. There's so much flavor in that topping. I mean, they rubbed it with a little bit of a green sambal, but then whatever they put on top here, this mixture of chilies and green tomatoes and the lemon basil too. It's just so full of flavor. It is spicy. How am I doing with my hands? I feel like over the years I've improved. Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. So this is like one, and then you push it with your thumb. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. You gotta get that thumb this action right here. And this is your scoop, and Right. And scoop it in. Mm. Perfect. That's an acquired skill. Perfect. Chopstick travel. Still mastering that. No, hand bare, bare eating travel. travel. <laughs> bare hand travel, yeah. <laughs> gotta do it. Like the locals here in Indonesia. Tomatoes. here the orange and the red one and once I get my fish I took the red one outside 
try to eat the orange one. And you know what? Turns out that Ari said the spicy one is the orange one, so I ate it all. <laughs> it's so spicy. Like, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Don't wipe your eyes, careful. Oh yeah. my god, yeah, you're right. Sulawesi so definitely spicy. Yeah. Sp spicier than Thai. Spicier Not Java. Not Java. Sulawesi? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Woo wee! <coughs> <coughs> what do you think, Thai person? Spicier than Thai food? In general, maybe in not. In general, maybe not, but like the, the chili that they use to cook in the food here, it's like. Yeah. It's like in your body. Woo. It's so good though, it's like really good. You know the island called Lombok, just east of Bali? Oh, yeah, yeah. The yeah. island Lombok, Lombok means chili. Means chili means island. Chili. That's one of the hottest too. Oh, wow, we gotta go there. Yeah. Chili, chili island. Chili island. That's just like intense, fiery, spicy, like burn underneath your eyes and just start sweating but so delicious and addicting and like Ming said you want to not stop eating it because when you stop eating it it burns so you just keep eating and keep eating we got another barbecue so let's go okay okay yeah. okay So remember when I said a sign of a good barbecue is you gotta see the smoke billowing at the front of the shop. Well, this is definitely the smokiest shop, yet I am just being bathed in the smoke. So this is traditional Indonesian satay. Everybody knows it, everybody loves it. So they've got kambing, which is uh, beef, and then ayam, which is chicken. And they've got two stations, both on charcoal, of course. They've got it pretty much directly on the charcoal. And then they've got the hand fan. That's always better than when they use the electric fan, just because it's more traditional the bamboo woven fan and we're gonna order up a, a little bit of both the beef and the chicken I definitely need a shower after this because I am gonna smell like smoke <laughs> until I shower this place is so ridiculously smoky that everything in proximity of it has been completely covered in soot like this pole right here it looks like it's a black pole but you can actually see it used to be green like this, but now it's completely turned black from the smoke of the saute. This is the smokiest spot so far, by far. Woo! So I've got my saute here covered in all kinds of ketchup manisa, sweet, dark soy sauce, and then they put some, looks like fried shallots on top, some onions, some green chili, some tomato, and this entire restaurant is just full of smoke. Like, I can't believe they're not wearing masks working there. Not only are they breathing in all that smoke all day, they're also smoking cigarettes at the exact same time. Honestly, how do they even have any oxygen going into their lungs? I do not know, but this is a very famous saute place. And uh, Ari was just telling me that the people that run this place are from an island called Madura, which is east of Java and there's not a lot of opportunity in Madura so a lot of the people there moved to bigger cities like Jakarta and then they built up a reputation for selling in particular sate but just being known as being really good chefs but they're really famous for uh, their sate. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, yeah. They've got it like a piece of meat and then a piece of fat and then a piece of meat so that fat completely just melts in your mouth, but it also sort of drips down onto the rest of the meat and kind of cooks it and gets all that fat kind of infused into the meat. The flavor is just coated in ketchup manise though. Like it's really sweet from that ketchup manise. Try one more. I can't even say that it's smoky because all I can smell, see, and taste is smoke right now. Everything is smoky here. So, really tender and good though, yeah. Mm. Oh, the sauce, they got, the sweet. Hmm. They got more customer coming, coming, coming. So they have to grill more satay. So the smoke is like, <laughs> it's like it disappeared in a mist. So next up is the chicken satay ayam, and this is a totally different sauce on here, so no ketchup manis. This is the peanut satay sauce. It's 
try one of these. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's crazy how soft the chicken is. It's even more tender than the beef actually. Completely falls apart. Effortless chewing in that peanut sauce. It's so full of flavor. So creamy and rich. I don't know if this is controversial, what I'm about to say, but I think satay is, you know, it's found everywhere in the world, but it's really an Indonesian thing. When you come to Indonesia, you can find satay all across the country on all the islands. They'll do it a little bit differently, but I think, you know, satay is definitely one of the most popular, most famous Indonesian foods. And this one comes also with the lontong, the compressed uh, rice at the bottom. Kind of soak up all that extra peanut sauce. So, look how beautiful that is. Ugly delicious. Yum. Normally as like the famous restaurant, people are gonna say uh, it's worth the wait, but at this famous place, I'm gonna say it's worth the smoke. <laughs> Out of all the three barbecues that we had today, I Ming, what was your favorite? The beef ribs, the ikan bakar, the fish, or the classic satay? I think I like the ikan bakar, the fish, because not only you taste the smoke, but the ikan bakar is but also you add more like complex and like tasty taste from the sauce and I really like the shrimp taste that the sauce and then like the, the spiciness from a lot of chilies on top of it I feel like that's like the perfect combination of everything together yeah what about you? for me maybe it's my western palate but I gotta give it up for the the beef ribs I think the beef ribs are the best fish satay ribs <laughs> really ribs number three huh Maybe because it's in my Indonesian palate. <laughs> <laughs> Great satay, but man, I couldn't wait to finish eating in there just so I could breathe some fresh air again. All right, that's it for our barbecue tour, but let's go get a dessert to wrap up the day. So to cool off after our day of eating barbecue, we've come to have a shaved ice dessert called Ice Teller. And she has this the coolest ice shaving machine. It's like a hand crank to shave the ice. And then she's topped it with uh, avocado, um, some coconut, some jackfruit, condensed milk, some sauces, all kinds of different things. She really went crazy with all the ingredients. Let me dig into this and get a little bit of everything if I can. I love that there's fresh avocado in there. And I am a strong believer that avocado is also a great dessert ingredient, not just for savory dishes like we have in the West. Yeah. Oh, it's sweet. Very cold. Oh. Super refreshing. Let me get a little bit of jackfruit on top. Such an awesome ingredient, too, the jackfruit. Oh, yum. Avocado is super creamy. Mm. Wow. It's a crazy combination of flavors and ingredients. If we made this in Canada, if we had jackfruit and fresh coconut and great avocados, we put them all on there, but I feel like it's a bit of a sin to cover it in the sweet condensed milk because it sort of masks the flavors of the fruit, but it, it does work, it's good. So the name meaning drunken eyes. Dragon teller. Ice. Drunken is like drunk. Oh. As teller. Why? Mm. Well, this is a uh, long time ago in Indonesia. They have uh, like a contest to make the best ice dessert. And the one that has the recipe called the uh, ice drunken ice. And they oh. won. But many people actually also steal the recipe and then selling this kind of an ice dessert mm. so the real uh, copyright owner is another brand but a lot of brands now selling as talent all over Indonesia mm. so was he drunk when you made it or something mm -hmm. most probably probably <laughs> yeah I probably drunk when I eat it is drunk by the smokiness Oh, super refreshing. 
combination is just very nice. Mm. All right, folks, that was the top barbecues to try in Jakarta. There's a lot more, but that was three of the ones that we recommend. Huge thank you to Ari for showing us around. Huge thank you to Mink for giving her input in today's video. And huge thank you to you for watching this episode. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. See you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> what? Ari was doing like really hard. Really hard. hard. <laughs>